Check it out. Here we got the new project. I just picked it up yesterday. Needs a lot of work. But my idea is to make it into a sort of bay fishing john boat. Picked it up yesterday for 900 bucks. Trailer needs a little bit of work too, but checked it out overall. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. My plan is to remove this center console, move the seats here, push them back, take out the uh, this motor, put in one with a tiller. Thinking about putting in a 25 horsepower motor. Redoing this front deck. Putting EVA foam, interior lights, nav lights, new nav lights, uh, LED. All right, guys, the day has come. I'm finally gonna take the boat on her first test run. Take a look. We got her hitched up and she's ready to roll. As ready as she'll ever be. Stay tuned, let's see how she does on the water. I'm really excited. All right, what's up guys? We just came back, me and my uh, my wife. Introduce yourself, Vanessa. Uh, we're, we're transparent with you, so I'm gonna say that the boat itself was a success, the hull. We had absolutely no leaks. The pods worked flawlessly. Everything worked good, except the motor. The motor did not turn on at all. I don't know what happened today. They say that when you run a motor to test it on muffs, that you know it's, it's a different back pressure versus when it's inside a body of water. So I guess that might have something to do with it. So later on, I'm gonna build a bucket and test it like that, or I'm just gonna take the motor to somebody so they can tune it up for me. We'll see, but half a success, I'd say. It was uh, the boat was really stable. Everything inside of it worked good, like it should. Just the motor didn't work. But we were still able to get off the the dock with the autopilot trolling motor, so that that was at least keeping us from staying on the dock, embarrassing ourselves. But yeah, we're we're at least happy that the boat itself had no leaks was good so we'll just see what we do with the motor what are your thoughts Vanessa no, no you don't, you don't, you don't, <laughs> never mind she doesn't want to talk but stay tuned guys because this video is not coming out until a motor on that boat runs peace Check it out guys, we just got the new Tahatsu in. We decided to repower with a new motor because we didn't want to get left stranded in the bay. And here she is, 20 horsepower long shaft four stroke. And there's the truck, and there's Skrinks. All right guys, here she is with the new motor. We're gonna try for a second time to get her on the water. At least the first time we took her out in the water with the Evan route, she didn't have any leaks, so I'm not expecting any leaks. Now we just gotta break in this new Tahatsu 20 horsepower. And we're good to go. Take two of getting her on the water, guys. Take two. Last time was embarrassing. I was yanking that Evan route like 40 million times in front of everybody and never turned on. Stay tuned to see her on the water. Alright guys, the boat is complete, we're out here in the bay in about a foot and a half of water. Rook, what are your thoughts? Yeah, look, it was, a, it was a good idea to put the jack plate on after all guys because it gets pretty shallow out here. But uh, 
going to go ahead and say that the boat is a success. We're out here soaking mullet. Just, you know, something easy because it's our first time out here and it's really windy today. The boat's nice and stable. And we're able to go pretty shallow. Just got to learn how to use the jack satisfied with the build. No leaks. Couldn't ask for more. Last tracker is alive. And it's nice and stable. So we're out here on a windy day and we're both standing. guys well here we are the day after her first voyage voyage she did pretty good not gonna lie she was pretty stable it was really really windy out there yesterday so i can't complain overall i'd call the build a success just little things here and there that i still want to do but i'd say she's done since i can start fishing her now only real major thing I want to do is put a floor in there with some foam so that way, you know, when you get tired, you can lay down, that kind of thing. But yeah, other than that, I'd say this build is complete. She had no leaks, no leaks in the pods, no leaks inside. So I'd call her a success. And through the magic of editing, let me show you what it looks like with the lights on at night. And here she is. Here's what she looks like at night with the lights on. Got the lights, the flashlights running all the way to the back. Nav lights in the front. In case you're ever coming back late or leaving early in the morning, you will definitely see what you gotta see inside the boat. Cause it is dark out here. We got the switch panel up here. And for the LED bar. It's pretty bright. This one, uh, this one here for the nav light. Yeah, overall, like I said, guys, pretty, pretty pleased with how the build came out. Stay tuned for my future videos, which will just be my fishing adventures on this boat. Trying to, trying to tame the bay out here and other waters see what good fish i can get on thanks for watching